2024 is right around the corner. So I prepared an elite list containing top 200 mods. Not all were released this year, but each and every one is special and will give you a fun time playing it. This video took forever to make, so if you find yourself enjoying the content, a like and a subscribe would be much appreciated my friend. Now without any further ado, let's dive into the video. Releasing just over 2 months ago, this mod already nailed a half a million downloads. Alex's Caves was one of the most anticipated mods of all time, as it promised to introduce 5 whole new biomes, all of which exist in the caves. The end result was so satisfying and truly lives up to the hype over the past year or so. Next in line is the Immersive Melodies. A simple idea, but with impressive implementation. The Immersive Melodies mod provides a couple of musical instruments that can play a variety of popular songs. The funny part about this mod is how even hostile mobs can form a band and play together while trying to kill you. Being the only guns mod available for fabric, simple animated guns was a no pushover. For starters, the reloading animation is immaculate as each and every gun will reload differently. In regards to combat, let's just say you'll have a little replicate of Call of Duty, especially when mixed with a good shader and the physics mod of course. I see a lot of situations where this mod is used to form a battle royale with multiple players. Iron Spills and Box is also an incredible mod with some seriously impressive animations regarding magic and spells, hence the name. I enjoyed this mod quite a lot and the possibilities that come with it are virtually endless. A mod that is constructed by the same creator as Immersive Melodies is the Immersive Aircraft. This is a real treat for any adventurer out there. This mod didn't try to add modern ish planes. Instead, the focus here was to include wooden planes that are made with simple materials and only require coal to start. These machines are quite helpful and have amazing animations and models. Breezy mod adds few wind effects around your world, as well as a hot air balloon. You can't control the direction of which the balloon will head, but it is possible to track it using the couch compass. Also, by pressing the roof of the balloon with a flint and seal, you can make it ascend higher, and to make it go lower, you can press the floor with the sand block. This is a simple mod for simple people. In keeping with the sky theme, bare clouds is up next. As you can clearly see, the effect here is quite modest and not groundbreaking as it only makes the clouds buffier and thick. It is also possible to modify the clouds to fit your own preference and possible to use lots of shader with it as well, which require you to tweak the mod to fit the applied shaders. Created only 7 months ago, the Nvidia mod was an actual breakthrough in the community. Now apart from it increasing FPS by what seems to be a thousand percent, Nvidia included an insane feature, which is the ability to see infinitely on the horizons without even tanking the performance. And yes, the name is kinda self-explanatory, it is only compatible with modern NVIDIA cards, so my apologies AMD users. Minerly is a mod that alters the concept of collection ores. They will now be in the form of ore piles that needs to be mined multiple times before it drops the full quantity. There is also these random rocks in the ground that will give you single ores. The only problem I found with this mod is that you will come across lots of diamonds and other expensive materials making it a turn off for hardcore players. Skullcord is the easiest way to turn Minecraft into an infection apocalypse since all of the terrain including blocks and mobs will be infected and turned against you. This is a super hardcore mod especially since the infection keeps spreading non-stop and no matter where you go the infection will follow you. Enderman Overhaul expands on the Enderman mob. There will be new variants, some of which includes Dark Forest Enderman, Desert Enderman, Badlands Enderman, Aquatic Enderman, Swamp Enderman and more. 
These new maps are so unique and have different attacking styles and models, with them being interdimensional as well. William Wider's overhaul overworld offered some of the wildest and most feral biomes I've ever seen. These new biomes will be so bushy and rich in decorational blocks. You can also expect an abundance of colors and some rivers that are so wide that it make it so easy to travel by boat. Towns and Towers enhances the village and pillage update with new villages, pillager outposts and ships. There are 50 plus detailed structures inspired by real life architecture. So explore and enjoy the journey, my friend. As the name implies, with this mod, you can mount and ride a variety of maps, but you must first craft the appropriate fishing road for every map you ride. This mod is so much fun to play around, and my favorite map to ride is the dolphin. Panda's falling trees came in as an alternative for the good old dynamic trees. While the design of the trees stayed relatively the same, the animations and sounds are a perfect recreation of the dynamic trees. This mod is also not overpowered since bigger trees will take longer periods of time to fall down. Magic Mounts includes a number of magical creatures that you can tame and therefore ride. Each one of these mobs have special abilities and can transport you with their own air, below the sea, or through mountains. This is a great way to have a breathing transportables that will require you no fuel, just your compassion and love. Immersive combat revamps the way you fight in first person, as it adds new slashing and crashing sounds depending on the weapon you are using. You could also duel with swords, axes and more. And if you want to take this mod to the next level, then I suggest you install Spartan weaponry alongside it, since both mods are compatible with each other. Doing so will be tons of fun to experiment and it will also empower you immensely. Kelvin's special animation uses the Cosmos Player Animator mod to beautify the player animation in Minecraft. This mod included vivid movements such as running, jumping, fighting and more. You can also practice edging with this modern sword. I can't believe I said that out loud. If you're a fan of the How to Train Your Dragon series, then you'll love the Isle of Berk, an incredible but sadly discontinued mod that provides a collection of skillfully designed dragons from the show. These creatures are tameable and can be ridden, some of which will be tougher than others. Once the dragon is docile, you can ride it and fly it anywhere you please. And dragons like the monstrous nightmare can be used as a mass destruction weapon given its ability to burn anything that surrounds it. The animation introduced with this mod are top notch and perhaps one of the best of all time. This mod alone can turn your world into a fully functioning zombie apocalypse game which included deserted biomes filled with ugly and terrifying zombies as well as some abundant structures with blood and dead bodies all over the place. This will be your number one option if you are looking to assemble a zombie apocalypse mod pack with only one mod. Blockfront is a modern first person shooter mod. The manner of which this mod was created is special. What validates that is the overall feel of the game. It doesn't just add a couple of weapons and bombs. The whole theme of Minecraft is revamped from the main menu to the music, all the way to the actual gameplay where you will feel the heaviness of war and get a bloody screen whenever you are damaged. There is even a matchmaking system where you can play with other players. This is absurd all by itself. Choices of a whole village completely change and honestly enriches the villages in Minecraft. Every biome will now have a special type of villages that adheres to its nature and will even be built from the materials of that specific biome which stretches the structural diversity in Minecraft and make exploring villages that much more exciting. Promenade includes few aesthetic biomes filled with again more aesthetic creatures like the ducks and everyone's favorite animal, the capybara. You'll stroll around and take naps from time to time. 
They're so cute that I want to take a screenshot of them. And oops, I spoiled the next mod. Flash is a convenient mod that will add the classical camera sounds and the clipping animation. A great substitution for Optifine Zoom would be Zoomify, an incredibly helpful mod that allows you to zoom on any surface almost infinitely. A similar mod this time for Forge users is Just Zoom. The plus here is that with the Just Zoom, you can also zoom out freely. Ellinger's Cataclysm is a mod with some badass bosses and even more exciting boss music. Attacks each one of these monsters perform are unique and not just the casual pounding we're used to. You'll also have a lot of HP and can deal a ton of damage. That's why they are meant to be fought after you are done with the Ender Dragon. Ellinger's Cataclysm quickly became my favorite boss fight mod of all time and I think it will grow to be your favorite as well. Tectonic is a real treat for travelers. This mod will provide you with an incredible show of vastness and massive landscapes that are not very different from real life tectonic plates. Although I recommend using it with the highest render distance possible to be able to get the full benefit of the mod. Using anything lower than 60 render distance will most likely bottleneck your experience. Parkour is a fluid mod that will completely change how the player interacts with their surroundings. You are now going to be a professional parkourer, able to perform some insane movements and slide your way through any obstacle. With amazing new golems, the Plenty Golems mod was one of the very few mods of this type to grab my attention the most. The design, alongside the modeling of these new bosses, is unreal. Although their attacks are not super special, I think you'll enjoy battling some of them, my friend. There's also the type of golems that are protective and not hostile. Paragliders mod adds a new item that can help you clutch your way down through any altitude. It works as a totem of undying, but for full damage only. Although I have to mention that it has a limited capacity, so use it wisely wait asian half squad the creatures and cryptids will decorate your world with some odd creatures that have no existence outside of this mod except for asian half squad i love these creatures and they give a refreshing atmosphere to minecraft let's do a bitch party is a wholesome mod that will give you the chance to grab a cup of juice and relax under the warm sun Destroy these suffocation ugly windows and add the brand new Macau's windows. An incredible set of windows that can be opened and closed at any time. And I adore how the sunlight scatters between some of these when you are using shaders. Supplementaries is another decorative mod that will add a spinning globe, an hourglass, a fancy candle holder, a statue, a working clock and more. Visuality adds a couple of cosmetic effects to things like hitting a skeleton, raindrops, images sparkling and a lot more, which in turn adds a sense of immersiveness into the game. When hovering over the items, you'll undoubtedly notice a small gap between them. To fix that, you can install the model gap fix, which will completely eliminate this problem and give you an anxiety-free gameplay if you are a perfectionist like me with the chunk animator mod chunks will loot in a vivid manner that makes unlooted chunks that much less annoying right from the start we can notice a completely different video settings but that's not the main point of the vulcan mod this triumph will help you skyrocket your frame rate and keep things under control Although it doesn't work with shaders, but let's face it, if you are struggling with FPS, shaders should be the least of your worries. Mouse Wheelie is an inventory mod that will allow you to swap items accurately from any storage source. You can swap stacks if you hold the shift button. You could also drop items rapidly by clicking the items with the left alt button. In addition, you could also scroll over all the chaps icons if you are on creative mode, or even scroll through the grids of the recipe book. 
Additionally, it is possible to organize your inventory or any chest by clicking the middle button of the mouse and organize them in any order. Also, by clicking the swap key on any inventory slot, you can actually swap that item instantly to your offhand. And the map will also supplement you with more blocks we needed. Souls like Armor Reworked added new armors and weapons that complement the epic fight mod. You will notice that each one of these weapons and armors have a different animation based on the attacking style and they look so ferocious and wild. One of my favorite cinematics mod of all time besides replay mod is the CMD cam. While it doesn't have the ability to render scenes, this mod will give you all tools necessary to produce some accelerating scenes, sometimes even better than the replay mod. If you are a fan of realism and modern warfare, then you are in for a treat my friend. Timeless and Classics is a mod that will supply your game with some shiny guns that are super dynamic and are honestly very comparable to some weapons you would see on Battlefield games or even Call of Duty titles. It's very hard to find a single mod list without the name Yangs in it and this mod list is no exception. Yang's Better Nether Fortresses will overhaul these structures by increasing the level of detail and aiming for a castle shaped structure that makes the whole place stand out. Amplified Nether is a supplementary mod you could use to increase the height of the nether. The mod itself adds nothing new and you can even have it in the form of a data pack. Regions Unexplored add a total of 70 new biomes. This time with a unique spin to it since the biomes will have a lot of new blocks and a distinct atmosphere and the cave biomes here look especially good with the rich ink and voxels shader. Terra is also a world gen mod but with no new blocks added though you can notice just how incredible the new terrain generation is. Everywhere you'll go you see unique land masses that are so mountainous and large your whole world will turn into a massive jungle, so if you are a fan of plain biomes, this might not be the best mod to try, but otherwise I wholeheartedly recommend it. Mini scaled mod allows you to build a house in literally one block scale. This is one of those mods that no one asked for, but everyone would want to try. Beautify adds some new items for decorations, some of which includes hanging floor pots, stacked books, candles and more. With enough preparation and little to no building experience, it could make your house look truly fascinating. Eden Ring introduced a new way of teleporting to a whole nother dimension. Well, more like a planet than a dimension. This place is a beautiful show of sci-fi structures and atmosphere. And there is also no gravity here, and nor does it have any hostile creatures to oppose you. Untamed Wilds is the perfect way to expand on the animalistic side of the game. This mod will add a couple of animals that are biome dependent and are quite reactive, as well as proactive, since you will often find them fight for dominance. Some animals are so lazy and just want to get a nap. Reptiles like the anaconda are a nightmare to come across. And there is even some new animals that are entirely fictional. Akomere offers the chance of an incredible arctic adventure. With it having lots of hostile mobs, bosses and ancient creatures. Upgrade Aquatic introduces what could have been the better aquatic update. New fish are added with this mod. Some will prey on others in a beautiful oceanic ecosystem. And you'll also notice some mesmerized reef blocks added as well. A big part of the upgrade aquatic is the inclusion of two types of sharks. The thrasher, which is a blind creature that uses sound to hunt on other fish. And the great thrasher, which is a bigger and stronger version of the casual thrasher with a bite force of just over 1000 pounds. Deeper and darker is up next and this mod will allow you to take full advantage of the portrait in the deep and dark biomes. 
Now you can ignite it and use it to travel to a new, somewhat to obscure dimension. Here, you'll go against all kinds of dark creatures, none of which is passive or peaceful, so come heavy or don't come at all. Cave Dust mod added a subtle effect on the caves in the form of dust. This effect can be modified to be of any shape or color, and I find it one of the easiest way to get a realistic experience with little to no overwhelming additions. Vanilla Refreshed has lots of utilities, some of which included sitting anywhere you please, having a day tracker on the bottom of the screen, as well as a biome indicator. When aiming at a certain map, its health bar will be shown. There is also the chance of receiving XP whilst harvesting crops, and some sparkling effects can also be noticed. When popping a gas, the XP from it will fly right back at you and the totem of undying can now save you from certain death situations such as falling on the void. Branching on the paths will give you speed effect, clocks can now tell you the exact time of the day and date as well, and you can prepare a surprise for your friend by adding some firework on a cake. Without the need for optifying, vanilla refresh also gives you a fully functioning dynamic light, it's not the smoothest per se, but it's working well for me. A new animation will show up when you kill the ender dragon, and an elytra will be dropped. Though I have to mention, you must enable this option directly on the mod settings. Mind Piece will appeal the most to One Piece fans. This mod gives you the ability of virtually all devil fruits. The animation here is so aligned with the original show. And one of my favorite parts about this mod is how you can put two characters against each other and the end result will be so logical and adheres to the original storyline. McDoom has been one of my favorite mods for a while now. Using this mod, you'll be able to simulate battles from the game Doom. The animations here are not very groundbreaking in comparison to other mods, but it did a good job at bringing almost every weapon, creature and even bosses to Minecraft. I enjoyed playing this mod and I used it along the nostalgia shaders in case you're wondering. Placeable items lives up to the name. Some items will now be placeable on the ground and can have beautiful 3D models. Some can even be put on higher quantities like gold and iron ingots. This is one of the best decoration mods out there. Don't stop receiving updates for a while now, but you can always install it just for the fun of it. Immersive armors included new sets of armors like the Prismarine armor, Skeleton armor, Steampunk armor, Viking armor, Divine armor and so much more. These new equipments are not just for the show. Skeleton armors will give you a green card when approaching skeletons, though they are still gonna attack you back. Viking armor increases the damage dealt by axes. Steampunk armor will give you a compass and a clock on the sides of your hotbar and the prismarine armor will have permanent thrones effect as well as depth rider effect. A mod that I had the honor to add to the list is Tropicraft. This has been one of the most OG mods of all time and it recently got updated to 1.20. The idea of the mod was to include a tropical dimension where you can kick back and relax. There are also new types of creatures with new sets of models. You'll enjoy this mod so much and it brings good memories along the way. Camera utils allows you to zoom in at any surface with lots of flexibility and can be adjusted using those sliders. You can also customize how far you are from the back of your character. Rotations and angles are also something you can edit with this mod. And if you want to, could also detach from the camera altogether and watch your character run free. This is a super helpful mod for cinematic purposes. And coming back with another Yang mod, this time it's solely focused on the ocean monuments. These structures have now been wholly revamped and you can even catch it above the sea level. The inside design have also been ameliorated and got some amazing beaconing pillars and mesmerizing floors. In the middle of the structure, you could claim your reward, which is a trident. There is another chamber that I fortunately did not enter. 
effortless building is one of the most impactful mods in history. You can now build a little mansion in few minutes or less. And the utility here is so easy that even a child can figure it out. I never been able to understand mods like world edit and so forth. So this mod has been a massive help for me personally and I hope it is for you too my friend. Wizards is a heavyweight mod but I'll break it down to you in few sentences. You can basically use some magic items to create some magic tools to defeat some magic creatures. Understood? HL's Reborn included few options regarding the popular Minecraft server Hypixel. These options are a non-issue and won't cause any bans. A mod simply named Additional Structures adds over 200 new structures to the game. These new builds consist of normal vanilla blocks. They are so subtle that you would confuse it with the original Mojang structures. And just for the reference, I'm using Bliss Shader alongside the Physics mod bro. Hang Gliders gives you a new item called the Hang Glider. They work like an elytra, but can only glide you down to the ground. They're a bit similar to the paragliders we've covered earlier, but with a higher velocity and can actually dash forward. Integrated dungeons and structures is one of a kind mod since it will be included in buildings based on other mods like create and supplementaries. You will come across different types of blocks and items and it is honestly a creative idea and will help break in the simplicity of Minecraft. Now of course, if you play the game for the sole reason of simplicity, then this mod may not be the best option for you, but it's totally fine otherwise. One of the craziest mods when it comes to animations is the Edge and Spillage. While exploring this mod, you will notice new types of bosses that are derived from the pillagers. They are however very very strong, we are talking boss level kind of strength. And as I mentioned earlier, the animations and models would be the two most notable features of this mod. With peak, buried treasure maps will display the location. Compasses will also display the location of your spawn, with the recovery compasses doing the same but for your dead location. Suspicious twos are no longer suspicious. You can also show what's inside the ender chest, bee nest, and sharker boxes. Through this simple crafting recipe, you can create the map atlases. The first thing you'll notice is that the map is so vast and quite limitless. There will also be a small minimap on the top of your screen. This minimap will display even if you are not holding the map. The map atlases can be expanded to be bigger and wider. You could also place a pin if you have the Moonlight Lab mod installed. And you could also mark any area using a banner by simply right clicking it. The map atlases can also be used in the nether, though I noticed that it doesn't show the actual landscapes. The end however was working just fine. This mod would be very valuable for players who likes to explore and create. Magic maps includes a couple of new magical creatures some of which can be used as a trader, and others are so strong, yet use their power for good, and will protect you to death if you help them out. There is also the chance of you coming across a tribe that will try to kill you. Once you defeat them, you can also get a new weapon. And lastly, there are nightmare creatures like the chupacabra that would prey on weak animals, those being cow, sheep and chicken. Cave Dweller includes a new monster that will hunt you in the caves. The sounds it makes are so disturbing and can also pass through pretty much any surface. So it's basically inescapable. A mod to make the strongholds a nightmare is Stellarity. With amazing structures, endless paths and mysterious rooms, this mod is a perfect fit for vivid adventurers who like a difficult and challenging trip to the end. Once you lit the portal, a new animation will pop up. Summoning the Ender Dragon will now be a necessary task before battling it. Once the fight is over, this boss will drop a cool looking sword that is very lethal. Now to the end terrains. I mean, what can I say? 
This is honestly one of the best modern mods to make the entrance incredible and worth exploring. New types of biomes will be introduced alongside different types of portals. There are also a couple of camps to loot. While looting this place, you may find a map. To track in the destination, you'll find an end village. And just like any village, there will be villagers, iron golems and even ruminant animals like the sheep. You may also find useful functional blocks like an ender chest and an enchanting table. This mod is available in the form of a data pack as well and it holds pretty much the same content. Spyglass improvements allows you to use the spyglass as if you are using Optifine. Whenever you press Z, the spyglass will be pulled up from your inventory and used immediately. You could also fabricate the settings to your own preference. Chaos Awakens holds some new types of animals, some apple trees, and most notably, Kiara creatures. These hostile mobs are well designed and can crush you down with some of their attacks. The animation for their death is also quite good, and they may come in a variety of models. Mobs like the Robo Pounder will live up to their name. Wasps will sting you to death, and if you are lucky enough, you may come across a golden cow that drops a golden apple. There are many mobs that are currently still under development, so I would recommend following the mod's progress on Mother and or Pierce Forge. Enemy's backpack adds a couple of new backpacks to carry your items. The difference here is actually the models. With the Enemy's backpack add-on, instead of having flat backpacks, you'll have great looking 3D ones that fits the modern theme of the game. And they can be upgraded to have some absurd storages. Through this recipe, you can craft the simple shop, a block used to ease trading in your server. All you've got to do is to first place the price you are asking, followed by the item you are selling. And that's it, every player will be required to pay the agreed amount for the items, instead of just stealing it from you. I love the designs of the shops, and it is a useful addition. Hall's Enhanced Biomes is one of the most creative world gen mods. Across your journey to discovering this mod, you'll notice that a large portion of the biomes are built to look as if it was made by a professional builder. For example, take notice of these fences and slabs. There are also new types of blocks as well. The structures are kept the same, but the terrain has been massively altered to simulate the look of a customized terrain instead of a natural vanilla world generation. After crafting this item called the monocle, you could then wear it to evaluate any tamed horse you have. It will tell you everything you need to know about it, and you can configure the mod so that you are able to check every horse, not just the ones you tamed. Rotten creatures added new types of zombies that can survive the sun, some of which are very weak, and others are little Greek cats like this guy over here. He'll shower you with lightning bolts, and the chances of defeating him by your own are very slim. But once you do, you'll get a unique trident. There's also a pirate captain zombie that keeps summoning his crew to kill you. They'll keep attacking you even after you kill him. In which case, you'll be rewarded quite handsomely. Aerobatic Elytra is a very enjoyable mod, as it adds a new flying mood. This new style of flying, although it is a ton of fun to try, can take some time before you fully adapt to it. But by then, you'll be able to perform some breathtaking rules and swings while mid-air. This mod allows the Better Dog 6 pack to merge well with the Doggy Talent next. Now you can choose which type of dog you need and what design it has. I really appreciate the precision when it comes to the dog's behaviors and it's very cute overall. In cases of dying far away from home, Universal Graves can be a life savior as it will protect your loot from the spawning but only for half an hour so make sure you come back as quickly as you possibly can. Better Archaeology boasts an impressive amount of structures you could uncover for certain treasures, though they are usually heavily guarded. Whilst discovering these monuments, it is a good idea to bring a brush with you. 
You don't know what's hidden in the suspicious gravels. You could even find some fossils that you could put together to form a skeleton and get a clear idea of what the extinct creature looked like. And there are also new blocks, items, and a new villager called the archaeologist. Backslot adds specific slots for the bow and the sword. They will also be visible on your character. This mod is so useful since you'll be able to swap weapons back and forth during a fight without having to stop and check your inventory. Another mod of the same type is Trash Slot. This one will provide you with a small slot for dispersing any unwanted items and it will leave the last item just in case you dropped something valuable by mistake. With Companion, pits can no longer pass through portals unless their owner teleports first. Pits, like the parrots, will stick on your shoulder 90% of the time. And there is also a command to disable friendly fire and a whole lot of other features designed specifically to keep your pits safe and sound. With Galosphere, new cave biomes will be introduced. They consist mainly of crystals and some ores, which you can mine, smelt and craft into beautiful armors or even a chandelier. Screenshot Viewer makes it easy for you to navigate through screenshots. Now there is a dedicated button in-game that will open a new menu containing all of your screenshots. This is ready of having to leave the game in order to check them. A realistic mod that has to do with vehicles is the Immersive Vehicles mod. New trucks are added that has everything you would expect from a truck, even tail lights. A faster option would be a car. You could build it from scratch, which is pretty fast and can even drift. Finally, there is the plane that I didn't figure out how to fly, so any suggestions would be much appreciated. If you happen to accidentally shoot an enderpearl at a beehive, you will get yourself stranded in this new bee kingdom. Everything is made out of honey and was designed specifically to shelter these beautiful insects. You could even see bees that are visible on some blocks, but don't try to mind them. That would be a bad idea. There are new variants of the bees, and there's even a bee queen. And attacking her is a death sentence. With the Sanguine mod, you can witness a natural disaster called the Blood Moon. If you happen to be around during this time of the night, you are basically running the risk of being crushed by some terrifying creatures that only show up during this phase. This mod will be a tough challenge to your survival. Clutter added new decoration materials such as plushies, cupboards, food boxes and more. This mod also designed some cute animals like this gorgeous deer or those colorful butterflies. There are also penguins in the snow biomes. Helion Sniffer Plus allows you to ride a sniffer, put a chest on its back, and even give it an ominous banner to track a pillager outpost. Though the sniffer is so slow, you could always throw a speed potion at it. With this mod, torch flowers will glow, and give it their name, this is just basic logic. There are also new biomes in the caves. Useless reptiles added some new creatures you can tame and ride, though some of them can be a bit expensive to tame. Flying these reptiles is so much fun and you can also notice the beautiful design and the incredible flying animation. It's so simple and smooth. With various starchy loot, the bonus chest will always be different and unique depending on the bio. No longer is it gonna be the same items over and over again. Villagers Plus added new shops with new villagers. Some of them included an archiculturist, oculist, oceanographer, and an alchemist. This mod is a perfect way to reimagine the villages and add new layer of excitement around them. Another mod around villages is Create Structures. As the name implies, this mod adds new windmill in the villages. These buildings are constructed using the Create mod. 
Therefore, their functionality and look are so amazing and gives a sophisticated feeling to the game. That was the second half of the video. If you wish to obtain the other 100 mods, I would highly recommend watching part 1. If you enjoyed the video and wish to receive more content like this, then subscribing would do just that. See ya in the next one my friend.